clearly having streaming problems. None of my cameras are working as cameras. Um, I may have just fixed it. Oh, this has been so frustrating. I did. I just fixed it. Okay. Hi, friends. This is a different start than usual to the Wednesday stream. So sorry for the delay. All my cameras turned off. It was annoying. And I've been going back and forth with them because I'm painting a mural right now and I'm recording that process. Um, it's wild, y'all. I got to be honest. Um, I did not know that I needed mural painting in my life such as I do um, and as I am working. Um, but it's quite fun and the artists I'm working with are fantastic. Um, yeah, just like follow me on Facebook and Instagram and you can see everything I'm doing. My life has been really crazy uh, the last couple of weeks, like intense. You might have noticed I missed the stream last week. I thought I was going to be able to stream, but I was dead. Um, I took a week off um, to, well, I, I flew to my parents' place to care for my grandmother for a week. Um, she's at end stage Parkinson's and um, is bed bound. So um, it's not easy. Basically everything you do for a newborn, you do for her, except she can kind of communicate and she's 107 pounds. Um, so that's hard. Uh, I've been <laughs> lifting my grandmother out of a bed and into a wheelchair and onto a toilet uh, several times a day for the last week. Um, so I'm tired. So I'm sorry I missed last week. I really thought I'd get to it, but by the time the time was there, I, I it was four o'clock before I remembered after going through all the caring that I was doing for my grandmother. It wasn't all sad. Um, there, there are a couple points. Her brain is interesting. So Parkinson's definitely treats your brain differently than you might expect, and you, you see things differently. Uh, one of the most the most memorable moments my grandmother had and I had was I was, I was ha wrapping my arms around her. She was wrapping her arms around me so I could lean her up and, and change her, her dress. And um, it was the first thing I was doing that morning. And she looked up at me after doing that and just said, you have onions. I was like, oh, I guess I haven't put on deodorant because the way I was holding her, it put her face right in my armpit. Um, so, I mean, that's just a great example of what Parkinson's, uh, like how that brain functions. Um, it may sound like she's not making sense, but she's just, she's drawing things together in the way that she can, um, to communicate. So, uh, today's stream is going to be a little short. My foot needs repair. I can't stand for as long as maybe I could on other days. And I need to get to this mural thing and paint it. Also, this morning... <laughs> You guys would not, you, like, you, you know me, you see me working, and I'm going to tell you something strange that you're not going to believe is real, and you're going to think I'm lying, okay? But four chickens showed up in my yard this morning. Little ones, little ones. Um, like, like this big. And they're not full grown, their feathers are still coming out, and they chirp, and they Yeah, I do a pretty good chicken impression. Um baby chick. So uh, it may, you know, I go to tractor supply and do that at the cages and, and the, the baby areas and I, and they all stop and stare at me. So I don't know if they like it or if they're terrified of it. Uh, but it sounds a lot like them. So I think they think I'm one of them. Anyways, so these four chicken, like I, I was just walking around the yard doing my normal thing. Okay. I've got a routine, right? Everyone has their routine. We all have routines. My routine as of late has been waking up exercising okay this all makes sense this all makes sense and then um eating breakfast we all prefer to eat breakfast um and then uh eating that breakfast whenever possible by walking around in my garden um so i i began that process and I started hearing a weird bird, and I was like, I have not heard a bird like that. First it started out as a morning dove, and it was really cooey, really, really cooey. And I was like, this is more than uh, I'm used to hearing a morning bird talk coo. Uh, here is, this is a straightening iron. I don't 
don't remember how it works. Where's, where's the arrow pointing? Does anyone know? I want it the highest it can go. Oh, that's the arrow. Okay, we are on the highest. Why isn't it turning on? It's plugged in. My iron's plugged in. Is it? I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I don't. I haven't straightened my hair in at least five years. There we go. That looks on, right? The light stayed on. That looks right. Okay, we're gonna go with that being on. Um, so, uh, yeah, and I'm doing my routine, and I hear some weird bird noises. I'm like, what kind of bird is that? And I'm just looking around, and next thing you know, I'm like, is there a guinea hen in my garden? What is this? And because I can see one just kind of digging through the leaves under my azaleas, and I'm like, what is going on, man? Uh, and so I begin following it, and then I see it, but then I realize it might be more than one. Um, and I follow it back to the back gravel area where I park my car, and they're like going back and forth. I'm like, I gotta keep them trapped in my yard. Someone's probably looking for these pe these these ladies. Um, and so I start blocking off the like little exits around my yard. And um, I don't quite make it so that they stay in my yard. They escape into a neighbor's yard. And then, so as I'm looking and I'm like, what is this? Um, the neighbor across the way that lives at the funeral home asked if I got chickens. And I was like, no. She's like, oh, they've been weaving in and out all day. And I'm like, oh. Um, okay, so this is a straightening iron. And I'm going to try using it to iron some of these small bits and pieces here. Um, I don't know if this is going to work or not, but we're going to try it, okay? And, um, yeah, so uh, we spent like an hour capturing chickens together to try and, um, so this is a problem, this piece right here. This piece right here is a problem. It's keeping it, like I see why it's there for hair, but for this, I don't think I need it. Um, let's test it here first. Does it even work to melt this? Does it get hot enough? I mean, I'm on the lowest setting, but let's test. This is not the first time I have used a hair straightener as an iron. Um, you know, you hear stories about people ironing clothes on themselves all the time and you like to laugh. But, um, you know, it's not that crazy when you're ironing your clothes and it is a straightening iron. Just saying. Because I've done it. Um, oops. The cord isn't as long as my iron, unfortunately. Yeah, so we, we caught the chickens. We got them into a cardboard box first, and then I got them into my cat carrier. They're small. They didn't even pick up my hands as I, like, captured them and, like, put them away. They seem to be foraging in the woods. Um, I talked to one of my other neighbors, and she's like, yeah, so my eyes weren't deceiving me. I thought I saw a chicken on Monday. And I was like, you thought you saw a chicken on Monday, and you didn't do anything about it? Like, I'm like, I, I don't understand people. But um, I'm like... Okay, this is weird, y'all. Super weird. There's chickens in the city. And so the rules are here in Manchester, it, you can't have um, a chicken. Manchester, New Hampshire, I should be specific. You can't have a chicken um, uh, under a certain size yard. And I have one of the biggest yards around, and it is like under that size by a half. It is not big enough to qualify, this per the city's regulations, to have chickens. So I don't know which one of my neighbors lives close enough to me and has chickens. And so I'm, like, really confused. So I captured them, and I, like, posted it to Facebook and, like, tagged all my friends that I could think of who might be nearby and might know who had chickens that escaped and um, are living their best lives. And, um... <laughs> Yeah, and so, yeah, I, I contacted some friends with chicken coops because I can't keep them here. I'm going to get in trouble if I keep them here um, with the city, and I don't want that, okay? Like, I really, really don't want that. So um, I have some friends. I have a friend that's going to come around 3.30 to pick them up and uh, foster them for me until I find their owners. I put a sign out on my gate being like, are you missing something? And at the brewery around the corner, too, share is, is wonderful about that. And then on top of that, <laughs> some of the legs on these guys, these ladies really, are splinted. 
Um, and I know a little bit about chickens only from watching a couple uh, YouTubers or whatever, because one day I'd like to have chickens. Um, and the, the splinted legs, the legs need to be splinted when they have been formed the, fed the per correct uh, protein ratios as they're developing. So somebody knows a little bit about what they're doing here. <clears throat> Excuse me, somebody knows a little bit about what they're doing here, um, but their chickens got out. So, um, I don't know y'all, <laughs> but this is my life. How many people can say that this is their life, that they just are like, ah, blah, blah, going along life, and then you're like, oh, there's chickens in my yard, and not be in the country. I am, I am in the city. Manchester is the biggest city in New Hampshire, okay? This, this is not, I mean, it's a, it's a pretty small city, but it's, it's the biggest. Um, I just, <laughs> what is my life, y'all? What is my life? Um, I don't know. I really don't. Um, anyways, so I went around the neighborhood uh, after I got the chickens, like, way more settled and, like, carefully cared for, and uh, I got some tips and tidbits on from people who have chickens that I know about what I should be doing for them and um, and I got them like really safely uh, I hope put away um, I'm hoping at least that they are safely put away in a cat carrier lined with newspaper um, with a bowl of water um, a shallow bowl and um, I have some uh, flint corn that I grew last year um, and my friends' chickens that I get to play with from time to time in my garden seem to enjoy that, so I thought that would be good. Um, that, and yeah, so that's, that's, that's what I did. Um, and they're hanging out outside in, in a chill spot. It's, it's warm today, it's sunny um, for New Hampshire at this time of year, so I, I think they'll be okay. Um, but I'm good for chickens right now. Uh, <laughs> I'll be able to say on my deathbed at least that I own chickens for a brief four-hour period um, in 2022. Remember that, that, that pandemic we went through, youngin? Yeah, you read about that in your history books, right? Well, in 2022 when it ended, um, some chickens showed up in my yard and I owned chickens for a total of four hours. I can't hear them, okay? The city will get mad at me. Um, they think they smell bad. Um, dude, what is my life? Does anyone want to tell me? Because I seriously question. I, it, makes, it makes no sense. It really, really doesn't. Um, anyways, I love my life. I'm super happy with my life. Uh, so, you know, don't, don't hate or anything like that. Um, I, I don't know why do all the adventures find me. I mean, that, that really is what the question comes down to is why are all the, the adventures um, finding me? Or is it that I find adventure? I'm really not sure. Uh, so all this chicken talk is to mention that I'm also working on this really large mural with a bunch of other artists. Um, uh, the Parker Street Tunnel in downtown Manchester on the west side is pretty awesome. Uh, we're having a fantastic time, and we're, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. When I get a rest point here, I'll show you some video and some stuff that we've been doing, some photographs. Um, it is just a blast, and kids keep stopping by, and every time kids stop by, um, we hand them a brush, and we're like, paint something. And so all the kids in the neighborhood are, are contributing to this, which is the way I think to keep it in good shape as they grow and develop into people who need to express themselves that hopefully they won't express themselves on our mural because they'll have felt like they had a con piece in, in making it. They, they had a, a piece in making it. So, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, so much going on. Um, so I'm doing that. I'm still teaching, of course, my, my regular class load. It's a little light right now. Some of the after school stuff has gone down um which
which I'm okay with right now. Uh, yeah. Anyways, so that's like what's going on in my life. Uh, bike bus stopped by the mural yesterday while we were working, and that was really fun and exciting. A bunch of kids just stopped and painted um, on their ride home. Like, what, what more could you really ask for in life? I, I don't know. I don't have the answer um, because it's, it's pretty much everything I would want in life. Um, I'm biking. I'm doing things. Hi, Hairbar. It's so good to see you. You wanted to start on your manga again, but you're on a break. But if you start now, you can finish quicker. But my hand hates me and will not let me do anything. I've been in those situations. Just when you've been drawing um, so hard and, and, and so um, long that your hand, like, aches, I get that. So there's a couple exercises you can do to help with that if you've ever done exercises for your hands. Um, so just resting and then doing one as fast as you can and touching the fingertips to your thumb like this. And if you do this every day on a regular basis, uh, you'll strengthen your hands and you'll get less fatigue over time. Um, you can also stretch, right? We want to stretch all those muscles and tendons in our hands and arms. And remember that the muscles, most of the muscles, except for like the phenar eminence basically, the muscles for all the control of your fingers is in here. So stretching this is really good for you. You know, stretch these gently. The, the longer you stretch, so 30 seconds is about um, what you do to, to maintain flexibility. Um, really, I think it's 20 seconds, but I, I put it at 30 in my head because I'm, I'm one of those people that adds to everything. Um, so 30 seconds to maintain flexibility. Longer if you want to increase flexibility. Um, what are some other tips I can give you about that? Weightlifting in general. Start with a can of soup, okay? Start with a can of soup in your hand. Um, I will use this water bottle as an example. Um, and do this exercise. Like this. And do this every day. Your doctor told you you're a loser? Why? Because you draw mangas and make money doing it? So this, this can help a lot. So I have, I have a hand doctor because I get cysts in my hand, um, and he's one of the top seven in the United States. So um, I listened to him when he gave me these exercises and told me to do these things. Um, and then once you get these, you can build it up to like a three pound soup can, and then you can build it up to like real weights and, and do these exercises um, to strengthen all those areas so you don't suffer the fatigue. If you can, find another doctor. Your doctor shouldn't talk or think or look at you like that. Your doctor should be compassionate and show care. Um, I've had to doctor shop in my life. Um, with all my medical conditions and disabilities, um, I have been looked at similarly. Uh, now, whether it's because I'm a woman or I don't know, but it's not cool. And um, so I have, I think I have a good team going right now with my doctors. Um, I, I suggest, you know, oh, do you currently have a cast on your hand? Yeah, so, like, you should definitely rest your hand. It was a cheap American cast? <laughs> I'm not surprised. Um, I have to say, I went through several, like, medical boots that I had to wear on my foot when I was figuring out why I was falling and why my foot hurt all the time. And um, one I just destroyed within a month of me wearing it. And then the other one held up a little longer. Um, huh. So are you, Hairbar, are you in a cast right now? Are you like, so you can't do these exercises, can you? How are you going to make your deadlines? Not to stress you out, but just out of friendly concern. Are you okay? I'm worried about you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, American healthcare system is messed up. It's true. I'm glad you're getting care in Japan where it is um, cheap.
uh, that is that is wonderful, and it so shows a, a great success of your country. Um, I can only hope we one day aspire to be as wonderful as you are, because we didn't do it. Uh, we're not good there. We're not good there at all. Okay. So I now have uh, waterproofing on all of one side of one bag, and I'm going to do waterproofing on the other side, and we'll do the other bag. Um, but are you okay? Like, are you able to get your work done? I am concerned for you, friend. Is there anything I can do to help? Like, I, I don't, I'm not a manga artist. I mean, I can kind of copy some stuff like styles and, and that kind of thing, but I am, I don't think I'm publishable. Um, some of my students might be. What, what else could you, uh, so exercises. Chinese Elon Musk, oh, why would you do that? That just sounds like a headache to me. Here we are, okay. So I'm trimming these down so that we have smaller seam allowances that I can then waterproof the edging on. Keep your fingers crossed on that. Well, I really hope you feel better, Hair Buyer. Um, it, is, it is no fun when, um, when that, that kind of thing is going on. Um, having had to recover from surgeries and things like that myself, just one surgery. Really, I've only had the one surgery. Um, it's, uh, it's hard. Like I have other conditions too. So like I'm seeing lots, I see lots of doctors and specialists and whatevers. Okay. So this is the way it goes. If I put the watertight stripping stuff here, I didn't think about how this, um, let me see with this would affect weather stripping and whether I'd be able to actually put weather stripping on um, because it's on that seam. You thought, you thought it would be resourceful to watch the Chinese Elon Musk. Uh, yeah, no, like, go for smaller, smaller people, like, well, like me, or, like, someone else, like, don't, don't go for the Elon Musk types, they're, ugh, you don't want that, you don't want that, uh, let's see, some, so, I ha I can make a plug, it's not for kids, okay, I'm gonna make a plug for a YouTube channel that I like, um, but it is not for kids, I, I cannot stress that enough. Um, this, this, this channel I'm about to mention is not for children, uh, but it, the, 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 the YouTube channel is Crime Pays But Botany Does Not, um, but Crime Pays But Botany Doesn't. Um, it's hilarious. The, uh, host is funny. Um, you learn stuff watching it. Um, it's, uh. It, and, and he's trying to improve the world and the environment and, and stuff. And he's actually getting a TV show soon. So um, he doesn't think it'll last because he's kind of controversial. But I, I recommend Crime Pays But Botany Doesn't. Wait, is this guy actually Elon Musk's brother? I'm, I'm confused now. Um... Is this guy actually, I didn't think Elon Musk had a brother. I don't, I don't, I, I ac actually don't follow anything. I mean, only what gets said in the news from time to time, right? Like, I'm not like seeking out this stuff. Oh, he just looks like, okay, okay. Is he? <laughs> well, so, I mean, sure, I can see that, you know, especially with the way China probably, or Japan probably is better at um, redistributing wealth. Huh. 
So if he's a Chinese Elon Musk and he gets Elon Musk's money, is he going to spend it the same way Elon Musk does in America? Because um, if he does, it's not going to help anyone, I think. What do I know? Uh, how do you do corners? How do you do corners when you're weatherproofing? Does anyone know? Because I don't. I am making it up, and it's probably wrong. <laughs> oh, no. Um, no, so, yeah, well, we shouldn't make fun of people for, you know, speaking another language with challenges, for sure, okay? Like, um, I, I kind of speak German, but not super well. Um, I'm gonna start working on learning Spanish, um, I guess, for a vacation I have coming up, where where they sp they speak a lot of English, but they also speak a lot of Spanish. Um, and so, I I want to learn. Um, but like, yeah, people people who speak a second language, like it's way better. Like you probably you're you're. <laughs> You're, you're probably, you probably speak another language, just statistically. Americans are terrible about that, and, and we don't. Um, and the second language we might speak, we don't speak well. Um, so, you know. We don't need to make fun of anyone for, for, for their second language, that's, that's for sure. I'm sure he'll forgive you. All right, now we are trying to weatherproof more seams here. I really don't know if this is working or not. I don't feel like submerging the bag and testing it. Can he send a Tesla robot to assassinate you? I don't know. I don't know what the superpowers are. That kind of sounds more like, um, Iron Man. If it's made in China, but if it's coming from China to Japan, it might make it, let's be honest. You know, if you were to come to the U.S., you might have a little more protection. The, the distance would, would be a challenge, I think. I suspect. I don't know. I'm, I'm sure they won't come after you. But, you know, in all my confidence... But yeah, so I have chickens. Uh, unexpectedly, I have chickens. Who unexpectedly gets chickens? I do. Um, so I have a friend coming to pick them up. Um, Oh, I don't think, oh, okay, well, I don't think that's true. Um, well, I'm sure Japan has some decent human beings as well. I hope they don't have only creeps. I, I suspect they don't. I have some friends that live there, and I, they've said that they Japan does a lot of things better than the U.S., but it, they've also said that um, Japan does a lot of things not better than the U.S., so we can't, be, we're not perfect, right? Humans are not perfect. Um but they they've been they, they certainly value teachers way more which you know I'm I'm in the teaching side of things so I think that's wonderful um, I also think that that's the only way we're gonna like save the planet and or the youth <laughs> um, so there's that too So, so yeah, Japan, I know Japan treats teachers better. They, they seem to actually respect teachers, which is quite delightful. Because the U.S. does not. Um, gosh, I don't even, I don't even think America really loves its kids. If, if this Texas incident is, is anything um, to go by, which I think it is. The U.S. doesn't even love its kids. 
I don't know what to do with that information. Like, here I am trying to teach kids and protect kids myself. I'm going to double up this one because it uh, didn't quite make it. But as someone who spends a lot of time in the classroom, I just, we need to do better by our kids. And we're not. We're not. But Japan does do better by its teachers, so they probably do better by kids. Um, it's not a concern that I think Japanese, I don't think Japanese families or, or kids going to school in Japan or families who have kids going to school in Japan are as worried about school shootings as, as we are. I think that that's an oddly U.S. thing. But you would know more. I'll go with your expertise on this one. I don't want to iron this. Here, or I don't want to iron, uh, pin this down. I want to just stick it right here. Just go right here. Yeah, I'm melting. Maybe that. Maybe this is a job for the straightening iron. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I'm going to try it. Trying it. I think it's working. Is it hot enough? Therein lies the question, huh? I'm going to turn it up a smidge. This heat is not good. <laughs> okay, it's got actually gotten warm, so it's it's a comfortable temperature outside. I think it's like 75 in here right now, Fahrenheit, um, which is, I find very comfortable. Other people would find uncomfortable. I find it comfortable. Um, hmm. Well, I'm sorry to hear about your injury, Hair Buyer. Let's put a protective piece of fabric here so that I don't melt the ribbon. And we're gonna iron this down. <gasps> I mean, America has creeps as well. Um, I think of the last incident I had where I was creeped out by a dude. Not calling one off the top of my head. I'm better at standing up for myself, and I'm getting older, so I'm I'm less appealing. To, to do those things too. So count, you know, counting those blessings, sure. Um, but it still shouldn't be a thing. But it is. Um, okay. Is this taped and waterproofed? For the most part, I do believe it is. So the corners, anyone want to explain corners to me? Because I don't know what's going on. I'm going to Take a piece and fold it over like that, maybe. Maybe, yeah, let's do this. That looks kind of waterproofed tight, this, this. All right, hold it there, using that hair straightener. What do you think? Will it do it? Okay, I 
think it did it. Let's add another piece right here. That one actually looks okay. Let's add one because this seam right here isn't quite covered all the way. So I want to I'm gonna put a piece here. It also happens to stiffen up um, the fabric, so there may be some advantage to doing this other than the weatherproofing. And there are probably better and other ways to stiffen um, seams. Ugh, I just did a hard thing. It's okay. I'll be able to put it back later. What other exciting things? Statements. I'm just floored by the chickens right now. The chickens, there are chickens in my yard. I could go get them and share them on Twitch. Um, I don't know if that would be good for them, though. I've been trying to not stress them out. Like, I'm not even looking at them um, on a regular basis because I don't want to stress them out, man. They, they look stressed, and I don't want them to be stressed. Ooh, that didn't quite work. We'll make it work. Okay, well, it, it went, it went. Clearly, that counts for something. Okay, um, we'll pull that part out, because, ooh, ooh, hot, 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 hot! Okay, I fixed it, kind of. Your hands are your money maker. I hope you're protecting them, hair buyer. That's better. That looks more sealed up. Uh, are there any other seams that I need to like reevaluate their waterproofingness? Should that be waterproofed? Maybe. Let's let's just do it. So it's only a small leak if it if it does become a thing that needs waterproofing. And I'm going to cut it to a point right here. And that will maybe help. I'm not sure. But I'm going to try. That's all we can do, right? When we don't know, we just try, okay? That's what everyone does. Don't think that anyone else is better or knows more than you do. We're all just trying. Okay, I've got a weatherproof bag-ish. I mean, don't quote me on it or anything. I'm gonna turn out all these corners. Nicely done. And it is now very, very usable. Because I'm going to have to do this connection thing. So the ne the other side, the other side I did better because I, I bent it differently, basically. Um, so this is a pull-apart zipper, so it'll come completely apart, which isn't necessary for this, but it's how I found a waterproof zipper. So we'll own it. down and then push it down there we are um see that right there that could have been down further down all right nice nice bag mostly waterproofed and there's my hair all over it uh next bag anything i learned from waterproofing that i can do better this time mm, not much you do want to trim everything up though um that trimming will help. 
Oh, look, I'd already weatherproofed this. Wait, did I weatherproof that on the other one? I don't remember doing that. Did I fail a step? I must have. Yeah, I did. Good job. Okay, cool. I weatherproofed part of this. I, I ran out of weatherproofing is what happened. Um, now I'm remembering. I remember. I know. Creeping everyone out. Remember who you are. What's that from? Well, is that a Lion King quote? I think that's a Lion King quote. Um, either way, got to remove as many of these loose threads as possible. Oh, this needs hand sewing. I'm not going to be able to weather make this rain tight today. Because um, I need to hand sew a few points. Uh, I'll need to get my hand sewing needles, which are in my purse because of the travel. And we'll sew that up, okay? It won't, it won't take long. I can maybe even sit down for that. Which would be good, because my foot needs rest after lifting my grandmother in and out of bed. <sighs> People always seem surprised that I'll do that for my grandma. I suppose in Japan they wouldn't be surprised. You guys do a good job of caring for your older relatives. All right, where do I need to hand sew? I need to hand sew right there. Maybe I've got a needle that I can use right here. Sometimes I do. It's usually connected to one of the threads that's on the thing. I'm not actually seeing that right now, um, but it was a nice thought. I'll go get a sewing hand sewing needle. I'll be back. Give me just a second, okay? Where did my music go? Why do I have music playing? Ugh. Right. Better? Yeah, I'll be right back. I'm back. I checked. I checked on the chickens too. I checked on my chickens. Um, just to see, make sure they were alive and not being pestered by some, you know, predator or another. Um, I also should check Facebook because I kind of put a cry out.
my friends, okay, one of my friends volunteers with a chicken um, rescue. So my chick the, the chickens may have a home, um, which is really great um, if, we, if we don't find the owners. Um, Oh, someone is saying these these may not be ladies. These may be roosters, and someone could have dumped them in our yard rather than taking care of them. Uh, aww. So my, my husband's cousin said, oh, people dump animals here a few times a year. If you can get a better photo of their heads and tails, I can try to let you know if they're roosters. What I'm saying is that somebody probably dumped them in our, your yard instead of being responsible for them. So they could be roosters instead of chickens. Um. Oh man. Oh man. Okay, so no one has claimed these chickens. <laughs> oh, they could be roosters. This is bad. If they're roosters, no one's going to want them because um, they're noisy and they don't lay eggs. Um, so great. The, 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 the person who messaged that to me said they can identify whether they're male or female if I take a picture of the head and the tail feathers. So I will do that. Um, I'm pretty sure the person coming to pick them up at three can also do that. Um, thank goodness for knowledgeable friends. I mean, this is this is why we, we cultivate friends, right? So that they can help us when we need to know something. <laughs> it's one of the reasons I cultivate friends, not the only one. Um, now all my friends are questioning whether I'm using them. It, I might be, I might be, um, but know that I love you anyways. Um, okay, so let's, trying to figure out how to weather strip this section. Let's let's do the bigger, easier part, right? Let's just, oh, hand sew, hand sew. Why did I jump straight to, because I want to get this weatherproofing done. I don't really want to hand sew this. If I hand sew this, it's going to be like the end of the stream. Not the end of the stream, like forever, just like, uh -oh. it's all I can do. <laughs> um, I'm, yeah, I'm probably not going to get to the full weatherproofing here. Um, because of this little bit of hand sewing. I wish I'd remembered I needed to do this. It's okay. Um, I'm not bringing the chickens on screen because I don't want to traumatize them more than they already have been. Um, I am intrigued by the thought that someone may have dumped them uh, because they, they're roosters and they didn't want to care for them. That seems sad. They wandered in a pack nicely. I will say that. Okay. Thread it up. I'm not going to double up the thread on this one because I want to... Um, I want the smallest holes possible. Lady Verona, welcome. Um, I cannot tell if they are roosters, but there are perhaps, so they, they look like they may be three months old or so is, is what I'm hearing from a variety of friends. Um, I don't know. I don't know if you can or anyone can tell, but if I get a picture of the head and the tail feathers, uh, a friend, a cousin thinks that they can identify whether they're male or female for us. Um, so that'd be helpful, I suppose. Um, I did, I put up a flyer on my fence and at the, the brewery around the corner, um, you know, just mentioning that they might, they, someone may have lost them. <laughs> and I'm asking all my friends to like tag their friends that live near me. I went for a walk around, um, the neighborhood and could not find anyone with like a new chicken coop or anything or a chicken coop at all. Um, because I'm, I'm literally in the city, y'all. I am downtown, downtown, uh, Manchester, New Hampshire. 
and they don't let us have chickens on like less than a half acre and I don't even have a quarter acre so I definitely can't keep these babies as much as I want to. Um, the chicken coop that I have the most access to the owners are um, not around right now so I didn't want to drop them there um, since they're like newborn baby chicks. I mean not newborn they're like three months old right so they're like what teenagers um, but I'm 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 still like what do I <laughs> but I have a friend they're coming they'll leave their place at three um, and they will take them and foster them until we find a better home for them um, I I don't know man so like there is a little battle not a battle battle is too strong a word there are, are people who um, want chickens in Manchester and so there are petitions going around trying to convince um, everyone that we should be allowed to have chickens and I have signed the petition uh, some, an associate of mine, a professional creative uh, in ceramics, is um, helping, uh, or she, she petitioned the city for a variance so that she can have chickens, and they denied it because they were worried about the smell. Um, but I don't think they've ever really been around chickens. They don't, they don't smell that much. Um, yeah, there's like one day in the spring when they get a little stinky, like the first day when everything thaws and you scrape it all out and clean it all up. Um, but like, yeah, that's it, right? That's it, man. Um, and I have been around houses that smell far more from cats and dogs than from chickens. So that's what I'm saying. And the city should let us have chickens. I also think it's a classist thing. Um, like the refugees would all probably have chickens if they could because they recognize that that's um, a food stream, right, to make protein and um, and they do good things in gardens and yeah, I'd love to have chickens. <sighs> anyway, so I'm just sewing this tight so that I can put leather stripping on it. How's the baby, Lady Ferona? I don't think Hair Buyer has a, has a baby. But they have injured their hand, so I'm worried about them. I feel like everyone's life is just going crazy now because, you know, lockdowns are lesser and, and things are, like, happening. So, coolness. There we are. That's that's nice and sealed up. I think that'll last for a couple of years. That's all I can ask for. Where else does is there some hand sewing that's needed? Right here. I see that. See, it's not quite brought together. I'm gonna make that come together. And I will go back and forth on it a couple of times, like I did the other one. And I think that will put us in a really good spot. <laughs> Wow, you're hosting his brother's four-year-old birthday party. That's amazing. So is the four-year-old also with you? And and the baby is very squishy. Babies are squishy, aren't they? I met, I met a three-week baby t two weekends ago at an outdoor event. I took a picture with them. They are very squishy. That is a good word for them. They kind of terrify me. I gotta be honest, babies kind of terrify me. There we are. Let's just sew this shut so that we don't have small things trying to escape the bag. It really doesn't take much to sew this little bit together and it may be excessive that I'm like even considering or that I'm even sewing it here because it's like a centimeter or so and 
I just I want to make sure it comes together. I just don't want to lose things out of it. I could see myself like putting an earring in here and expecting it to hold through. And if if it's not like together, if, if that little hole is there, the earring wouldn't would be able to fall through. And I don't feel like dealing with that trauma. Yeah, that's why I'm doing it. So I don't lose earrings. Not because I'm an over perfectionist. There we are, turn that up. All right, what other corner needs some attention? That one looks really good. Um, that one I clearly sewed over several times to make sure it would be sealed up. That one's pretty sealed up too. Okay, so it was just those two points, huh? That's not so bad. How about the other side up here? Wow, I got this one nice and sealed up. Look at that, that's nice, that's nice. This one would for you, for me, freak me out because babies are squishy. I believe it. Squishy babies, man. Squishy babies. I'm trying to pull the the needle down into the container, it's not working. I thought the magnet might help, but it does not appear to be. There we are, needles all sealed up. Okay. Let's get a little weather stripping on, shall we? nice long piece into this corner. It's a little longer than it needs to be so that we can trim it later. I thought that the straightening iron worked real well for um, for a lot. Yeah, yeah, don't, don't give away anything or type anything you don't want to. It's all good. Um, turn this down like this. I think this is like going to be the best bet. I am going to pin it and then iron over it um, because I really think if I can like lay this down nice and flat, it just might hold and do what I want it to. And then if I'm ironing over it, it will melt, right? I really, Lady Verona, thought I'd get a chance to call you last week, and I did not. Um, caring for my grandmother was a lot of work. A lot. Um, yeah, it was hard. There we go. Let's pin that here. I think that'll work. Okay, so if I iron that, it'll hold together, right? Surely this is gonna work. Can you see what I'm doing, basically? That looks like it's coming together. Good, good. Now I can pull the pins and iron over it and hopefully it like melts whatever's in the stuff that makes it weatherproof 
Um, and, um, seals the holes, right? Surely that's how this works. I don't know. It really has been bonkers. Like, quite a bit. Life is intense right now. Okay. So let's pin this up here. Remove that pin. And let's keep pinning or, you know, ironing this down flat. <laughs> Did I just, I put the iron in front of the camera. Hmm. You can tell I don't have a broadcasting background. I'm just here making stuff. And I happen to have a lot of cameras. I mean, really, that's what it comes down to. Okay, so while I am weatherproofing this stuff, I'm thinking next week's stream, if, if I can have my way, you like the colors in this? Yeah, I love the neon. Neon is just always the right choice. When in doubt, go with neon. No, um, that may not be the right choice. Uh, I really would like to broadcast live from the tunnel where I am uh, making, uh, doing my mural. Uh, it's, it's an old rail trail tunnel, which means it used to be train, back when America was better with trains. And um, they turned it into a walking path, and the road goes above it, in a, um, in a, and, and the road is a, is a tunnel underneath. It's like 50 feet long, and we're working really hard on it. So I was thinking, if, if I have my way, I will broadcast live from that tunnel next week. We'll also have news people there. Um, like the New Hampshire Chronicle and WMUR documenting um, the work that we're doing on this mural. And um, so I thought it might be cool to live stream the thing as well. It means I won't be as responsive like in the typey typey or be able to respond to your questions. Um, but uh, it might be really, 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 really cool to see um, just like in general and like life. Uh, I don't know. How do you, what do you guys think? Uh, do you want to... You want to see that? Do, would, you, would that be cool? I don't know. I just, yeah, that's, I'd, I'd really like to do that next week. Um, it's going to take some figuring on how to do it, like the logistics of it, but I, I think we can make it work. I really do. Okay, we're going to start at the other end and bring it up, and then we're going to melt them together. That's going to be my guess on how this should be done, I'm guessing. this way. Cool. Pin it right here. Yeah? Okay. We'll try it. I'll, I'll see. I don't know if it's going to be my computer setup with the cameras or if it's going to just be straight from my phone. Um, really not sure how it's all going to work. But if you think it would be fun, I will try it. And we can all just, you know, give it a Elixies, right? Like, I have broadcast live from my phone before, just not on this stream. Uh, it was on a different stream uh, for my library, so that's a possibility. So we'll try it. Cool. We're we'll gonna have to think about lighting, which we might test today because. We, we we're, by about five o'clock the tunnel gets real dark, um, so we have to like plan around that. <laughs> I know. Um, who kn who to thunk it would get dark in a tunnel after five o'clock, um, a fifty foot long tunnel at that. <laughs> We've been having a lot of trouble with dew point. Um, 
the temperatures in New Hampshire right now, just like, I mean, if you're familiar with Dewpoint, you understand, like, <sighs> condensation. It's a thing, okay? Condensation is a real, legit thing. Um, and it's causing us a lot of trouble. Um, so my partner is maintaining a calendar to let to make sure to let us know what days are good for working because if the con if the dew point is is too um high then the walls leak water um and obviously paint is just not gonna stick well uh to water soaked walls so we're working through that it's really more technical than I could have imagined. Things I'm learning though, I'm learning quite a bit. Quite a bit. I like learning, so that's a good thing. Let's You'll notice my fireplace is no longer on. There's no comforting warm fire in it anymore. It doesn't go anywhere. We just turn it off. The AC is plugged into the window, but since it's below 80 degrees, it's not gonna kick on. Um, I just generally don't use AC because I'm trying to save the environment. I'm trying to save the world, darn it. Um, so I don't use AC. Right, I like where this is going. We're gonna tape it up here and see if we can get this on here. Oh, I did it the other way on the other side. That might be become a problem. Do do do. We'll just pretend, cause we can pretend things. We'll find out. I'm gonna have to get going in a few. Yeah, no, I'm... No, some people need AC. It's true. Some people just need AC. I don't have any medical... Well, I have some swelling from time to time that should probably be cooler than it is. Um... Okay, I need to bring you in here. <sighs> yeah, you definitely melt where you are, too. Like, I'm in New Hampshire, where it's not supposed to get above 90 in May, but it has done so um, already this year, so that's a thing. So if I, if I do something like this, right, that's, that's what we want, I think. Yeah, this is what we want. I'm making it up. But yeah, in about five minutes, I'm gonna have to go because I gotta get ready to paint more on the mural tonight and get the chickies ready to go to their foster home. Um, we go. Okay, not bad. And it went over the, the, mm, it came up. Darn it. Here we go. Hold it in this way. Then we'll attack it. Yeah. 
We'll fold it in and then we'll go at it. Maybe that'll make all the difference. And I'm gonna put this little extra piece right here because it a little piece went over. So there we are, into the corner. the heat on it sealing it in there you really want it in there nice and good nice and even okay that is one side of this weatherproofed so we'll be able to pick, oh no it's not it's just uh two two of the longer sides <laughs> i haven't done the this the uh the, the side oh yeah i didn't know you had thyroid challenges i'm usually cold so i don't mind the heat like really i really don't i can totally handle the heat um let's Move this zipper down. Hope I haven't melted anything, making it impossible to move the zipper down. Ah, oh, there we are. Go on, zipper. You can move down, right? Maybe if I put my hand in it and pull at it from the other way, it'll be easier. Probably will. Here we are, it is. Um, I'm also wondering if what if doing it on the inside is easier? Could that be a thing? It could be a thing. I suspect it could be a thing. Wait, did I not? Oh, I found another place that needs some hand sewing. What do you know? Maybe this one should be done from the outside then if I couldn't see it from the inside. I suspect that's the case. Let's pull that thread out. Told you this was gonna be all my stream was about if I started this. Okay, we're okay. So I'm gonna go at it from the inside so that the knot is on the inside. Yeah, like that. And then we push the needle through here and don't hit the other side until... Tell me there's a knot there. There's no knot. I haven't tied a knot yet. Good thing I caught that. It would have just pulled right through and I would have been frustrated. I'm tying the knot. Alright. Double it up so it's thick enough to not pull through. Because I'm pretty sure the single knots are pulling through. Oh, I got two within a millimeter of each other, but not quite on top of each other. So third one to tie them together. And <laughs> it landed on the first one, so that's fine. Oh, there's the needle. Okay. Gravy. I'm doing too much. Okay, here we are. So now, we're just gonna, like, put this thing together, yeah? So. Okay, okay. We're just gonna sew this together. Like this. With the tiniest stitches possible just so it looks a lot more finished. You may not actually add much functionality, but I'll feel better if it's done. So the sitting is letting me stream just a smidge longer than I thought I would be able to.
but I am going to have to get going for the chickens. I'm very worried about them. Like, how do I know if I'm taking care of them adequately? I guess if they live. There we are. Wow, this is some even stitching. <laughs> I'm proud of myself right now. stitch after this and we'll be able to seal it up send it home and send it through just the one side of fabric not both so we can tie a knot on it Just one side of fabric? Yeah, not bad. Pull it tight, tie knot. bad here. Okay, trim it up. Oh, I thought there was a bigger one. Okay, I was right. All right, not bad. It looks certainly more orderly, but it does mean I'm coming up to like my limit of time because I have way too much going on. Like, let's be really honest, way too much going on. So let's think that's how I turn it off? I don't know. I'll unplug it to make sure. Let's unplug it right now. It will make me feel better. Is this the one? Yeah, let's take some. Oh, man. I am tired today. It's been a week. You try lifting your grandmother four times a day. Tell me how it goes. Um... Oh, I'm warm. It's warm. The world is warm. It's not a bad way. Like, I'm kind of glad it's warm. Um, but yeah, we gotta, we gotta do stuff. Um, I, yeah, I do have a little GoPro here. I'm hoping to take that to the mural painting, um, next time, uh, because this is what my cameras look like right now. Um, can you see all the blue paint splattered around it? Yeah, that's that's a thing, um, and that's not a good thing. Here we go. Here's my my other camera. Yeah, you see that? See all that paint? We can't do that. Um, so GoPros need to be doing this instead of my expensive studio cameras, because um, I did record some video. And before I go, I'll show it to you real quick. I'll show you just a smidge. How's that sound? Would you like that? A smidge of video. Um, let's see here. I'll uh, show you the supply walk up. Hold on. Us getting ready. And I'll show it to you. I'll scrub through it so you guys can see it real fast. Um, let's bring it on over. Here we go. Here's some video I can show you. not the one I wanted. I wanted this one. I'm walking up. Hold on. I can't see the screen. Yeah, this one. See? 
This is us getting all the stuff out of our cars. Um, getting ready for some real serious hard work. Um, but I'll scrub through it so you can kind of get an idea. And here we go. See? Getting ready. And then we pull our wagon. We're pulling wagons like a bunch of kids to go to this mural. Yeah, I'll give you guys a time lapse eventually, but I'm just going to scrub through this quick so you can see where it is we're, we're working. So this is uh, 2nd Street right here. That's 2nd Street right by Chris Cosmetics and like the Canadian Club. And then so we go in through this old rail trail and there's right, a train used to go right through this path. And um, yeah, and so we walk and we walk and it's a quarter of a mile from the street into this green area and then I think in a minute you're gonna see us starting to approach the tunnel pretty cool right like look at this This is a nice wooded area but it, it is a paved path because I need I wouldn't be able to pull this wagon if it wasn't a paved path and here we are so that's the beginning of it so you and you can see us walking in it and this is us setting up in the afternoon um, so pretty exciting if you ask me this is how we do the work how we figure it out um, like there's a lot more done now so I'm gonna pause that and I'm gonna get you the next one oh, that's not what I wanted that's okay um, let's go here here we are this is us setting up to work pretty cool right and here we are working our paints out getting ready and here I go I'm going at it I decided to paint the person in the wheelchair we're going at it lots of people are using the tunnel while we go here's Yaz working on her part it's pretty awesome she's great with color and we work and we work it's pretty cool if you ask me and then the battery dies you know oh, give me my mouse back there we are so here's me working so I worked on the handicapped person I painted that in the background here it's a little pinky blue and I didn't like that so um I kept going at it um, and decided I changed it quite a bit in this session and um, got it places man and then you know, I'll show you more video of where it goes but I work hard and I use my bucket of blue paint as my step stool but I'm, I'm trying to work the sky in and I also I so that ceiling is blue do you see that Yozamar and I sprayed that blue with um with a paint sprayer but this was this was about 45 minutes of work that i did here so here you can see i'm just i'm throwing in some orange now um, because it's too pink and then so th this is 45 minutes about of work and then um it's going backwards for some reason but that's okay and here's the walkthrough, just showing you like what it looks like, where we're at, what it's doing. And I'm working with uh, Yasmin, Yasmin Safarazda, uh, Peter Noonan, uh, Johnny, uh, uh, Josemar Mateo. Um, yeah, we're, we're trying hard. We are a device diverse we're a diverse group of people. Um, I'm, I'm the handicapped representation. <laughs> I'm like, please, can we put differently abled people on here? Um, some kids walk by and we just hand them a paintbrush and they, they add stuff. The, the little bright blue bike you see there was two boys who walked through and were like, um, this is no good. And we were like, then add to it and make it better. Um, and yeah, it's in use while we're working, which is another challenge in of itself. Yeah. 
<laughs> so, and here's, I did a lot of work here. We'll work through this one fast. But I, I decided I this was, it needed to glow and watch. It will begin to glow and look like I intended. And there's Johnny working. And then the bike, the bike bus showed up. Look at this. These are some of my students. And they showed up on their bikes to help us work. And they did a lot of work. Here they working. Look at what they painted. They're so cute. And the, the dog you see occasionally is Maple, and I love that dog. It's so great. They didn't even take off their helmets. They, like, stayed for, like, 45 minutes or something and just painted with us. It was really great. They got some trees in. It was nice. They really did a good job. So that was yesterday. Let's see if I got a, a walkthrough. I don't think I did. Okay. Yeah. So, uh... Yeah, that's that's like what I'm working on real big right now. <laughs> um, it's it's a lot of fun. I'll keep taking video. I'll keep showing you what we got. Um, I'm hoping to get a little higher up today so I can get those higher up clouds and really fade it in. It would be kind of great, I think. Um, and we'll get somewhere. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't make the rules. I don't make the rules. I'm just working on it, and I'm just like trying to contribute as much as I can. Um, It'll be fantastic. Anyways, peace, love, and science. I'm going to get going because it is time for me to take care of the little chickadees. They're not chickadees. They're chickens. They're chickens. They're actual chickens, okay? Peace, love, science.